Hey guys, today we're going to look at a little closer look because we've already printed in Java. We know what to do, how to print to the screen. We've done it a couple times. But we're going to take a look at some of the intricacies of it and we're going to take a look at something called escape sequences that can help us kind of format our output just a little bit better or uh, format it to what uh, we would like it to do. So we need to talk about a couple of things first. Um, let's talk about methods. Methods are um, a collection or a bundle of statements that perform a specific task. If you've done some coding in the past, you may liken a method to a function or a procedure. So it can be kind of encapsulated within um, a, a, a certain piece of your code. And you can call on that method or call on that function anytime you want to do that thing that it does. Okay. And this will make more sense in a second when we look at a method. Uh, for us as the user, we don't really care how the method works. We just need to know how to use it, essentially. The Java API, which is uh, a collection of pre-written programs within Java, the Java API contains a lot of uh, programs we can use, but it also contains a lot of methods that we can use within those programs. The we're going to learn about a bunch of them. The first that we're going to learn about and that we already have been using is print and print ln. OK, so one of the programs within the Java API is called the systems class or the system class. We can use this system class anytime we want to. We don't have to do anything special to be able to use it inside that class is a bunch of methods that we can use. Uh, two methods that are in that class are called print and print ln. The difference between those two is pretty simple. Print ln is one, I'm gonna be honest, 90% of the time we're gonna be using. Sometimes we, we we're gonna use print, it's gonna fit better with what we wanna do. What print ln does is it prints something to the screen or to the console or to the user and then it progresses our cursor down to a new line. Again, let me give you for an example. So looking here at this code at uh, Hello World, right? If I were to put print L in here and do hello, it's going to print hello to the screen. And then the next thing that it does will always be on a, a new line. And that's kind of what it stands for. L in is for line. And so the next word that I print will be on the next line. Likewise, the next line says print ln world. It's going to progress that scanner to a new line after world. So it's going to print the word first. It's going to print that. Then it's going to move our cursor down to the next line and print whatever's next or do whatever's next. The next line, however, if you notice, just has print, not print ln. If you just use print, it'll print whatever you tell it to print, but then it won't move the cursor to a new line. So if you notice here for hello, I just use print. It prints the word hello, but then it doesn't progress the cursor. So the next thing that I print being world gets thrown right behind hello. It doesn't move it at all. It doesn't separate them at all. Okay. Uh, let's talk, let's break this entire line down though, and let's look at what we're looking at. So that system, if you remember, we were talking about where it comes from, it's a program within Java API. It's called the system class. Inside that system class is a collection of methods. This is the method within that class we want to use. The out part is coming from the fact that we want to print this out to the screen. It's an output. We're going to uh, let the user see it, right? So it's an output. There's also uh, an in, and we'll talk about that later. Um, we'll talk about input, using input within the system class. That'll come a little bit later. Uh, but anyway, we're using the system class. We're putting something out to the screen, and this is the method that we're going to use is the print ln or print, whatever it is that we want to use for that situation. Let's look a little bit deeper. 
and let's look at escape sequences. Escape sequences are used to perform specific, specific tasks related to printing, and they're always preceded by a backslash. These are um, kind of like, they're kind of reserved. Uh, these are special commands that we can give Java to uh, do certain things when we're printing. Uh, so slash n will advance our cursor. So let's look down here at what that does. Uh, let me find it down here. Let's go to my example here, actually. So if I'm looking right here, notice that I'm not using println. I'm using print. And this is what we're printing. We're saying first name Jones. Well, yeah, first name Garrett. Last name Jones. But you'll notice it's progressing to a new line after that first print saying first name Joan Garrett and then it's going to a new line. Well, why is it doing that? I'm not using print LN, right? So if you don't use print LN, this is what happens. It runs it up, it butts the next thing up against what you just printed. It doesn't progress the cursor after that first print statement. So if you wanted to, you could use a slash in to perform the exact same thing. You could throw a slash in in there and it'll progress it to the new line. Here's what's interesting about using these escape sequences. You can use them anywhere that you want to. You don't have to use that at the end of your statement. I can throw it right there in the middle, and it'll do the same thing. So I can just throw a bunch of slash ins in here and watch how it affects my printing. It just throws every, every time it comes to the slash in, it bumps it down to a new line. Okay, so that's all slash n does. Okay, slash t does an indent or like the tab key on your keyboard. So let's look at what that looks like. So looking down here where it says my favorite haiku, right? See how there's these indentions here. There's actually two. One, two. I can use a slash t to act like a, hitting the tab key on the keyboard and I can indent my text and I can do it as many times as I want to right so if I didn't want that much indent I could take one of those out and it would back it up and it wouldn't be that much indention okay the next one uh, we're not gonna look at backslash we're not really probably ever gonna use that much but the reason why uh, we have to do this, why can't we just print a backslash, right? So if I were to go in here and I just wanted to print a backslash like right there, it, it gives me an error right off the bat, right? The reason is the backslash is kind of reserved. It's reserved for escape sequences. So every time Java sees a backslash like this, it's going to look for a command after it, like an N or a T to tell it to do something, right? Now it's happy. So if I wanted to literally print a backslash, I have to precede it with a backslash. So if I want to print that, I'm just going to do it twice. And then I'll watch right here uh, at the very beginning of my print statement, we'll notice it pop up. So then it printed it, right? And it's because the backslash is reserved. So it's like, hey, I'm looking for an escape sequence and it's not there. Right, so if I want to literally print one, I just do double backslash. Likewise, the same the same idea. If I want to print a single quote or a double quote, I have to precede it with a backslash. The reason behind that is is because single quotes and double quotes are kind of reserved. See, if I want to print something out like a string like that to the screen first name Garrett, I have to put it inside quotes. And so if I want to literally print a quote, it won't do it. Because if I just put a single quote, it's going to think it's part of that that command. Hey, here's the, the, like if I take this out, notice how it's broken, right? I have to include what I want to print inside quotes. So if I simply wanted to print a quote, it doesn't work. Because it's going to look for what you're wanting to print out. So if I want to literally print a quote, I have to do it like this. Look at this line that says, I like turtles, right? 
if I wanted to put those in quotes like this, I have to do it with a backslash quote like this. And that'll print that quote out. Now I'm pretty sure I can also do a double quote. Yeah, that doesn't work. I think that's just Python, actually. Yeah, I think that's just Python doing the double quote. We'll do a backslash quote. Like this. There we go. Okay, and the same thing's true for single quotes. Like if I wanted to change that to a single quote, I could. It's not a big deal. And same thing. And if you'll notice, I'm using a combination through here of prints and print LNs. So here, my favorite quote, I just did print. That way it threw the I like turtles on the exact same line with it. So there are some cases where we would use a print to make our code or make our output look a little bit better, look a little cleaner. I didn't want that on a new line, but I also wanted to use a new print statement for it. And that's fine. So there'll be cases where we want to use print, and there'll be cases where we want to use print ln, um, and we'll look at those as they come up.